Welcome to Peace in the Valley, where adventure starts at home. We saw this in March for sale. Come on inside, I want to show you something. Right, do you mind if I record for my YouTube please channel? Please do, please do. We bought this in March, and it was a disaster. And little by little, if you come inside, you'll see that we have uh, done quite a bit. It was, uh, when it was, when you saw it, nature was winning. I, it was... It looked pretty cool when we walked by then, and we just ran into a ton of rain that weekend. Yeah, Hello. So, we have, this is us trying to win. So we have replaced from front to back everything wow. down to the dirt. And then we just uncovered that today, 1924. Wow. Nice to see it ever. Um, Night. Essentially, there was a newspaper there from 1924 called The Boys World, which is, we're still um, trying to figure out what that might have been a Methodist publication. Yeah. And it's, we've seen from the outside, but that's first time in 95 plus years that it's seen light through it. That, and, and you just found. Just okay. did it. I mean, we know. Are you surprised? Oh, okay. I was going to say, are but you we didn't surprised? Know this is well preserved. Yeah, I was say um, <laughs> And that's the original Latin plaster. But where the theories are. Why would they cover it? And I think it was to do the acoustic tile, either for heat or for acoustics. Now we're actually doing something called insulating. <laughs> so we actually think that might help the acoustics in here. Um, but we've had to, every place like there was, every place like that front tower you can see over here, was basically hanging by prayer and uh, cut nail. But the underneath of all of the tower was rotted out. So you have all new floor joists in here. See that right there, the, um, that little yes, corner? Yes, yes. That, that's all brand new. Basically every corner in this, except for that one, had to be rebuilt from the ground up. And that includes going all the way down to footers. Yeah. Block, cistering, up. Um, the beam, the, the, what held up this wall, see all this rod? That's what it was like all the way down. We just cut them and yeah. we still have to bolt them. But yeah. and then over here, what was holding this wall was nothing. So we actually built, a, put a beam underneath there um, as high as we could get it at the time. Because we had to be able to support the wall and still build the floor joists. So we actually put a little bit lower. Bit. Uh, but that, there was nothing holding that up. And we've had to, uh, we put 14 footers in. We've put in 80 feet of uh, beam. And then, you know, 240s. And then, yeah. But they're doubles. And then we had to hand truck out 10 yards of dirt from underneath here by bucket of five gallon bucket at a time. And for the footers. You had a sore back. No, I know. <laughs> um, the, for footers, we actually had to bring the concrete in by hand. We did trucks for the first four, and then we hand bagged all the footers over here one at a time. 15 wow. bags of uh, footer. So, so what, what's your plans? I mean, um, you're, you're obviously got a lot of, of so, planning going so, on. So picture this. The bride comes over to the parsonage the night before the wedding. She's got the queen's room. Mm -hmm. And then we have a dress room. And then um, eight of her bridesmaids can stay there. So it sleeps ten. They go up to the upper gardens, which is just a dirt area right now. Right. She has the ceremony. She comes down here, has the reception. And then there's a bar that we're turning the 1940s garage into a bar so that after the parents can go up and have a cocktail. Mm. But it's not a service bar, it's a bring your own bar. You know, yeah. Point, you know, oh, yeah. Um, yeah. So this will be a um, event center and reception area when we're done. Okay. And we're better than 50% done since you've seen it. I mean, it's got a new roof and a new floor. I'm just working on walls and, um, yeah, but we've locked out. Oh yeah. my goodness, yeah. I'll take you into the window room. This is the window room. So, so we're restoring, and I'm going to grab one window that you can actually see. So here's two kinds of windows. We're putting back all the stained glass, except in these two side windows here. We've salvaged that glass to put in front. So that's the outside turnaround. Yes, that would be outside. 
we just finished. Is this original glass? No, this is replacement glass. Replacement glass. It's and, okay. Uh, look at the frames. Those are 120 year old frames. Those are and that's what they look like when they're restored. And before, you can see the condition they were in right here. I, oh my goodness, yeah. The, uh, the glazing. The glazing on this, so it's kind of perfect angle. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So, um, yeah, not for the faint of heart. Um, these are getting painted. Are you cutting your own glass? No, we're using yeah. a group out of Knoxville. Okay, okay. okay. all of these other windows that you see here, we have the original glass for. So again, we took these two windows you can't see from the street, and we salvaged that and pushed forward to the other windows to repair those pieces of glass. Is it? Searched and searched and searched. You see all the broken ones down here. Oh yeah. Found, uh, okay. Lady locally over in Knoxville that had enough for six paints. So okay. Probably so that's why we're salvaging what you can't see from the street. So the historical society wants us to make it look the way it is. But if you can't see it from the street, take all the and, ones and move forward. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So make the front of the church the presentation for the street, and then it'll add light into the church. I can't imagine that you won't have plenty of business. We we've we encountered two weddings today. Right, four calls for weddings already. We got to, we talked to a lady about next year doing her class reunion, and we haven't even talked about what we can do with musicians. Okay, so okay, so where can people find out more? Uh, on Instagram at the old church with an E O L D E. Okay. Or on Facebook, the old church. Okay. Yeah, so we got a good following, and you know we have incredible support from the city. Uh, okay. Because we, this is one of the oldest buildings in town, and, it's, and we're bringing her back. And to it's life. wood. One, I mean, we just all did all that siding. Yeah, this yeah. yeah. I just showed them. It was great. That's the other side of it. We can see that. 1924. So that's been covered up for 97 years. Correct. You did the math better than I did. I thought that was 98. Well. So are you? Where are you, are you guys from here? Because your accent so doesn't story, sound like. Our story is we were uh, we were during a pandemic. We went and traveled for we took a year off. Yeah, and then we traveled and we were coming through the gap in March just after the ice storm. And we were on the other side of the hill. We walk over the hill. We go down to the coffee shop and get a coffee. We walk down, see the for sale sign. While I'm saying this is the cutest town. Cross by here, see the for sale sign two days later, made an offer. I did crawl every day to look at it. And, and we, have a, we have an expression, it's just wood. Mm -hmm. It's just wood. And so if you keep focused, it's just wood. We just have to fix wood, replace wood, mm -hmm. nail wood. The rest of us. And that's her. We're on camera. This is my Hello. <laughs> uh -oh. Uh, uh, we will tell you that it was prayer that held the building up. <laughs> Prayer and community support, because there have been times that I've looked at her and said, how is this thing even standing? Yeah. Honestly, how is this thing even standing? The, the, what holds it together is these, we find these six inch cut nails that are from what, 1890. And they're, they're impossible to get out. They break blades when we put a saw saw through them. But man, they have kept this thing together and we have removed whole sections of foundation, whole sections of, of wall, just because it was so nature well, one. What yeah. was the foundation made of? Was it just stone? Well, underneath everything is the cut stone. So okay. we've been able to work off the cut stone. Okay. But on top of that was three or four variations of repair over 130 there was years. A couple of brick pillars that they had attempted to break the, uh, the joists up, but termites have got inside that and just. Yeah. And if you look at our Instagram page, we document. Like the, they yeah. thought the front part of the church was safe, and when we got there, it was in the worst condition. And so that's like that walking. front corner. Yep. And okay. We were finding uh, so there's these eight by eight beams that were in there, and when we cut into them, there was about twenty percent of that beam left that was carrying all of that load as people were coming and going. And it's probably been like that a very long time. Now it's about a four foot drop too. Yeah. We went through. Oh, okay. And that's, that's excluding if anything else and didn't collapse. Front to back was a six inch drop. Oh wow! So and um, so there was this whole problem with the floor. So and then of course you have to update the code. That's where we have to take all the dirt out because you still have to have a crawl space, a vapor barrier, and all that other stuff. So it's all well. Up. You want that? 
Yeah. Yeah. And you definitely want that. Every piece of electrical out of the sanctuary, it's all brand new. So we've had, you know, when we're done here, it'll be a fully functional, up to date commercial building. Because we yeah. have commercials on here. Um, so it can be uh, a church. People can come in and use this church. They can use it as memorials. Uh, community events and graduations. What about this building here? What's it going to be? Uh, Sears and Roebuck catalog room. Oh. oh. And we're still looking for the plaque. Apparently, most of them will have a plaque somewhere. Somewhere. We just, we, yeah, we, you know, that's what we, they, somebody told us that. So we go with what we're told most of the time. Nine um, foot ceiling? Uh, yeah, they're pretty high. And then part, part of the problem why you don't see anything on the walls is when we got in here, there was wallpaper. And this is the place that sat pretty much empty for about eight years. So it was years. peeling from the... Oh, it was covered in mold. Like, oh, mold. mold. Mildew. Mildew, okay. Yeah, so well, that imagine happens. Tennessee summers with no air conditioning. In a valley. Yeah, in a valley. <laughs> So, okay, so is this going to be like a bed and breakfast? Like this will be the parsonage rentable home, and then for weddings, you're like in the queen's room right now. Okay. We'll have a walkway out to a courtyard and okay. you know, kind of a place to relax, and then there's other, there's five bedrooms. Five bedrooms, three bedrooms. Okay, okay. Do you want to say at all where you guys are from? Or? Uh, we're from Oregon. You're from yeah. Oregon. Yeah. Okay, okay. So that's quite a trek. What made you find uh, Cumberland Gap? We yeah. stopped with the pinnacle and then go to the uh, Tri-State Marker. Yeah. And took a little trail instead of heading left to go back to our car. We went to the right and then down the trail. And then we caught up here. Now, it turns out a quarter of her family came through the gap in the 1850s. Yeah. So, but that's like every American that's west. Yes. Because <laughs> they, hey, I went through Ellis Island or I went through Cumberland Gap, one or the other. Yeah, right? we, went out, we went out west by crossing through. Tennessee. Yeah. My family <laughs> voted from New Orleans. They came from Scotland. From voted from um, New Orleans to St. Louis and then the West. So they skipped the mountains. First thing we did was hire an architect who understood old buildings, and that's why there's a cabling system in it. Okay. That was to hold the walls together while you're. Yeah, and then when yeah. we were cutting away the floor to access it, we would do you know like do four or five feet and then listen and then do six or seven more feet and then listen and then little by little so we did the, the floor in thirds we would do this third complete it and then we would take on the next third so yeah it's, it's, it's a lot more complicated way of doing it but when you're dealing with whole building you know when do you estimate it'll be open next week all right <laughs> uh 16 and a half years about the year the shirt that makes our church might be done by we got a wedding in March already, so we better be done by March. Okay. So the coolest things we found, 1860, bayonet of a 58 caliber found underneath the church. Now the church used to sit in a um, uh, Civil War camp, but it had changed hands four times. So right. we were either in Union territory or Confederate territory. So we haven't figured out which side this was, but we had a person send us the exact same one of image, and it was originally 18 inches long. But that is a um, 150 year old piece of Yeah. And forged, it has this great little sort of triangulation and curve to it. So somebody spent some time doing this. And the fear is if you put it in electrolysis to try to take all the soft and it's just yeah. under its own weight fall apart. But it's cool. And yeah. Then, and then um, we also found the 1924 newspaper today. So no, our newspaper was a single cut right up against the window slap just to date when it was done. Oh, so okay. It's just, a, it's just a, a way to put it, you know. We haven't found the pot of gold or the time capsule yet. <laughs> We're working on it yet, but I'm open to one of these things. Excellent. Okay, give me give me your Instagram and contact again. Uh, the Old Church on Instagram. Yep. And we'd love to have you follow us. We're really good about the story stuff. And it's old with an E. Um, or on Facebook, The Old Church. Okay. So that was the story of the church here. Make sure to go sign up. Here's the historic church renovation bill and tammy lynn so go and connect to their instagram page and on facebook we're going to see some nice things coming up here soon